watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be doing a premium review. That's of a knife over $50 in the traditional realm. Now I bought this knife from James and Company. They are a retailer offering fine pocket knives and collectibles. And one of the few people that are selling Arthur Wright and Sons knives here in America. So what do we have? We have a Arthur Wright and Sons Barlow today. This is what we're looking at. Now I paid $65 for this knife, $5 for shipping, $60 for the knife. This is the Barlow pattern that they offer. And this has the stag handles and the what they call worn clip blade. We'll take a closer look at that because it actually looks, I don't know, it's sort of in between a sheep's foot and a worn clip. I'll let you guys decide. But we get the stag handles with this one, the nickel silver bolster. You have, um, I guess what appears to be uh, the stag tumbled into a tumbler with some sharp objects to kind of give it this scratchy feel, and then they've dyed over the top. It's not my favorite looking stag. It's it's okay. Um, you know, I have other knives that I, I prefer for their stag handles, but this okay. And then you get the brass pins. And a couple of them are a little proud. Not edgy proud, but, you know, they, they kind of poke up. You can feel them. Um, same with both sides, pretty much. These two pins. Just uh, a little proud. But the transition to the handle is nice and smooth uh, from the bolster. I like that. I like the shape of the bolster and that nice bevel on the end of it. Nickel silver. You also get brass liners. You can see it's pretty well constructed. No gapping or anything like that. You do have uh, some differences in the size of the scales. This one kind of dips in on this side. This one a little more rounded and a little more full. So it kind of looks hand built. Now perhaps they were having to deal with the natural shape of the material here when they were doing that. Or maybe they got a little ambitious with the sander. I don't know. But uh, you do see this quite a bit with handmade knives where the the scales are not going to be exactly the same, so it's pretty unique in that fashion. But they're uh, they're nice and comfortable now. I did a little fiddling with the back end of the knife on the butt end here. It was a little edgy where the bevel was, and so I rolled that over a little bit with some sandpaper. No big deal. It took me you know all of a minute. Also had some edginess to the liners. Um, so I did a little fiddling there and. Uh, and got the edginess of the liners uh, to be rolled over a little bit. You can see that they extend just slightly above the handle material, just a fraction of a millimeter there, and you can you could kind of catch your finger on it a little bit. Now that was the same with the interior part of the knife as well. Uh, you can see that you can just focus that on that. You can see that there's just a small fraction of a millimeter above the top of the handle. And usually you'll have a problem with the interior of the liner, but on this particular one it was on the outside. So I just rolled that over a little bit. Now it's nice and comfortable. You can see that the grip is like a three and a half finger grip. Kind of just have that last finger roll over the back end of the knife. And you have a very firm grip with a lot of comfort. And with that massively strong uh, pull on the blade, about an eight and a half the massive lockup and walk and talk. You're never going to have to worry about that blade folding down on you when you're trying to use it. It's not going anywhere. Now these don't have half stops. That's sort of a natural half stop I suppose, but not a created one. And yeah, just a, a very strong pull on, on the knife. So again this one was 3 and 5 eighths measured handle length and then the blade length. You've got Oh, I'd say, what, two and five-eighths? So, good length for your blade. Definitely UK legal, which makes a lot of sense. You got a nice grind on there, satin finish. Here's a look at the blade edge. And again, you can see that shape is uh, kind of in between worn cliff and a sheep's foot. I would say it's closer to a sheep's foot, but you don't have that super acute angle that you would... But on the other side, you can see we've got a nice clean nail nick. 
And just look at the blade edge on that side. Nail nick's nice and large. Not that you really use it. You can actually open this knife just by clasping it. I'll demonstrate that. Just uh, There's enough material there. You can just grab it. And it just serves as a grip more than a, a nail nick. But if we look at the uh, Tang stamp here, we have Arthur Wright and Sons, Sheffield, England. So kind of a four-line Tang stamp there. Plenty of plenty of words on there. Used up the whole thing. But nice walk and talk. Very comfortable in the hand after the fettling, and very happy with it. It's just a, a solid work knife. You definitely are not at all worried about that blade closing down on you. So for Barlow, it's just a, a fantastic example. And um, things I like about it is the fact, of course, it's from Sheffield, so therefore you have a very historic city making these types of knives. You know, date back over 200 years. This is where they were first created in that part of the world. So from that standpoint, it's a very historically significant knife in that way. And from a maker, you know, that uh, has been making some really quality stuff. And they offer other patterns as well, but uh, they stick to the traditional realm. And they are very familiar with traditional knives. So pretty happy with that. But uh, you get some good blade centering here. Maybe just slightly to the right. No, I mean, that's pretty much dead on. I know the angles might be a little deceiving, but it is pretty much just dead on. So, yeah, I mean, it's, there's no rubbing or anything. Locks up. Got a great walk and talk. Like I say, the handles are nice and comfortable now. Got this nice swell in. It's a little larger than the normal Barlow, so you get a little more grip. I think a normal one from, you know, like Schrade or something would be three and three eighths. So you get a little, probably about a quarter inch more handle length. But just a great knife, and I'm so glad that I got one. Uh, I don't know why I procrastinated the way I did to try to get a hold of one. Had the uh, Taylor Eye Witnesses, now I've got one of these Arthur Wrights, so pretty well set on the British bar loads now. And then I may just get uh, another one with the clip point blade. But I'm very happy with it, and uh, if you're looking for a really good solid bar low with a, with a good name brand uh, behind it, and uh, Arthur Wright and Sons might be the way to go. Again, you can get these from James and Company. Uh, they're they have a, a web presence on all about pocket knives. Their uh, sales, uh, you know, sales location there on their website. And uh, yeah, that's where I got that one. So I'm pretty happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Please do take care.